I was gonna say if he didn't believe him then he he had nothing else to say. What what is all this? This What, what are you gonna do? This is Halloween. Oh, it's a rat. I don't like rats, but I don't wanna see Oh, they're disgusting, but I don't wanna see an this experiment. Yes. If the numbers you gave me are correct, what this will do. Eloise is gonna be transported is somewhere. Stick it always in time. Just like oh. you. Oh god. Oh Eloise, does it hurt? It's okay. Uh, it worked! Okay. This is incredible. I'm sorry, how is a rat running through a bloody maze so incredible? What is incredible is I just finished the maze this morning. I'm not gonna teach her how to run it until an hour from now. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's amazing. So, so you, you send her to the future? No, no, no. Her consciousness, her mind. All I know about you is you, you end up on some bloody island. An island? What island? Where? Why would I go to him? Listen, give me the phone. Mother Parker, I knew he was going to come to it any minute. Relax, Look at Saeed. Daniel wanted to talk to the guy, so we brought him the phone. Back where? The island? He said he could help. He said he, he'd tell me what I needed to do. Desmond, Desmond, can you please explain to me? Desmond? You're Desmond? Oh, hell. Do I know you? I'm George Minkowski. I'm the communications officer. Before they strapped me down here, all the calls to and from this boat came through me in the radio room. And every so often, I get this flashing light on my console. An incoming call. We were under strict orders never to answer it. So, what's that going to do with me? Those calls came from your girlfriend. Penelope Widmore. Remember, oh, pause. <laughs> Remember, Charlie, <laughs> when he saved everybody, incoming call, the light was flashing, and he answered it, and it was Penelope. Okay. Uh, that's how she got through. So this guy was in charge of the communications on the boat. But now they think he's crazy because now every time he sees a flash, was he was he through radiation before? I don't know, but he kind of is like this and he doesn't move and then he comes back to and he's like, oh, I was, you know, I was on a Ferris wheel. Yeah, we know. Desmond was in the army. But see, Dim, that did happen. That did happen to Desmond. Because he, he joined the army and then somehow he ended up in prison, kept writing to Penelope. Her dad kept taking the letters and not giving them to her. So now, you know, so she's pissed at him, right? 1996, and this is supposed to be 2004, <sighs> eight years. Eight's one of our numbers. Oh my gosh. I'm a scientist now. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm pressing play again. Each time your consciousness jumps, it gets harder and harder to jump back. I will He's be just careful He's just making triple scrabble on there now. What does that say? <gasps> Eloise is sleeping? What happened to her? She died. Yeah, I can see that. How? Rain and some probably. I don't know. I'm going to do an autopsy later. It's not going to happen to me. Not the effects happen. seem to vary from case to case, but, uh... Oh, if this mm. keeps happening, am I going to die? I don't know. Desmond, we're all going to die eventually. Don't worry about it. I think Eloise's brain short-circuited. It jumps between the present and the future. She eventually... She couldn't tell which was which. She had no anchor. <laughs> what do you mean? Anchor. Something familiar in both times. The picture. All this, see this? This is all variables. Mm -hmm. It's random. It's chaotic. Every equation needs stability. Mm -hmm. Something known. It's called Keep a constant. Keep the picture. Desmond. Keep the picture. You have no constant. 
When you go to the future, nothing there is familiar. So if you want to stop this, then you need to find something there. I'm right. Something that you really, really care about. I'm right. That also exists back here in 1996. He knows, because I'm right. Uh, who are you calling? I'm calling my bloody constant. The number you have dialed has been disconnected. Just the picture. You don't have to talk to her. Hell. Oh, I thought he fell off the stairs. This door. <laughs> that they locked for. Oh! Looks like you guys have a, a friend on this boat. <gasps> He's laden. His brain is about to. Oh, uh, short circuit. Yeah. I don't want to see it happen. Oh, God. The Black Rock. Set sail from Portsmouth, England, March 22nd, 1845, on a trading mission to the kingdom of Siam, when the she Black was Rock. tragically lost at sea. At 150,000 pounds. 150,000, sir. Oh, I hate you. Do I hear 1616? One, I need to get in touch with Penny. I don't know how to reach her, and her number's been disconnected. Wake up and not have the card. Oh, we're gonna flash back to the boat. Yep. It's 2004. Yeah. I didn't realize it was almost Christmas. It's been. <gasps> no, 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 But he can stop it if he has a constant. I need you to listen to me. And I, I know it's going to sound ridiculous, but please, babe. I need you to listen to me. Hurry before you go back. Just, just give me your number. I, I know, I know I've ruined things. I know you think things are over between us, but, but they're not. If there's any part of you that still believes in us, just. I must say you wouldn't call me tonight or tomorrow. I won't call for eight years. 2004, look, babe, if, if you still care about me, you have to... I've forgotten the number. I'm crazy, Penny. You have to believe me. You have, you have to... Trust me. I do trust you. What's the number, Desmond? What is it? You still have to remember that number. He, he has it now, I think. I don't. Oh, it's a beautiful tree. Yes, where are you? I love that. Um... He doesn't know. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on a boat, um, I've, I've been on an island, uh, oh my god, Penny, is that really you? Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's me. So he'll you be okay me? now? <laughs> you still care about me? I've been looking for you for the past three years. I know about the island. She is. And then when I spoke to your friend Charlie, that's when I knew you were still alive. That's when I knew I wasn't crazy. Oh, I hope he makes it back to her. I've always loved you. I'm so sorry. I love you. I love you too. I don't know where I am, but I'll find you, Des. I promise. No matter what, I'll come back to you. I won't give up. I promise. I promise. I, I love, love you. you. Oh. I'm sorry. Power source went dead. That's all we have. She says she'll find him. So weird. What are you gonna find? What else have you done? It'll be my constant. <laughs> I can't handle any more loss today. I can't. I can't. 
my mind hurts. I need a nap. I can't take it. That was not a 40-something minute episode. It felt like I was in this time warp with him. I felt like I was in this, it was like four hours long. Not in a bad way. My gosh. I thought he was going to die like the other guy. Whatever his name was. The communications person. Oh. And then, I, and then it was so emotional at the end. Like, I'm seriously, I'm emotionally, I'm emotionally drained. I'm exhausted. My head hurts from thinking too much because I was trying to help Desmond remember uh, the number that, that, that was Penny's. And then when he wrote on his hand, all that, I mean, that stuff earlier, the, the to help Daniel remember who he was. All I can remember was Eloise, which was the rat. Seriously. I'm worn out. I paused it a couple times, I think, um, in this episode to kind of like say, you know, what I was thinking because I felt like I was on the right track. And, I, and I'm a scientist. We can add that to my resume. I think I remember telling y'all in, in season one, I was, you know, I was a psychic, I was a doctor, I was a, remember? So now I'm a scientist. Daniel, his, uh, the way he's playing this character, it reminds me of um, George McFly from Back to the Future. I mean, huh, like this, and like that nerdy, remember? If you go back and watch, he acts like George McFly, but like a little bit stoned. He's had a little bit of, you know what I mean? It's weird. But anyway. Okay. So we talked about going through the mist, the flash, the thunderstorm, the whatever it was in the helicopter. And then Desmond freaked out, didn't know who Saeed was, where he was. But the communications guy said they were bored. They were just sitting in the middle of the ocean. And he and this other guy, they I forget what they did. But he was exposed. They both were. Uh, and everything shut down. But his friend died. So the flashes started happening to him. I forget. It wasn't that long ago. Well, who knows? Because the time in this episode is irrelevant at this point, to be honest. I mean, it, poor Desmond. It was 1996. It was 2004. It was 1996. It was 2004. It took me a while to catch up with that. And then I, that's when I first paused it and said, okay, he's having the thing from that episode flashes before your eyes. But it was like, so frequent because of what had happened and he left the island I think that had a lot to do with it bless his heart oh when the blood started coming out of his nose I thought this is fast and the other guy had just died and so I was like I don't know is, is this how Desmond dies is, is, is Penny not going to give him her number but, but what bugged me a little bit not a lot but if somebody tells you, in eight years, I'm going to call you on Christmas Eve. Why did it ring so many times? If it would have rang once, I'd have been like, hello? But she, she picked up. It's okay. Penny, making all of us nervous. That was emotional. She's going to find him. She's been looking for him for three years, which she has said before. Okay. Oh, I hope he I hope he's done with this. He he remembered Saeed at the end and he said, Are you okay? Are you all you know, and he said, I'm perfect. So as long as he keeps remembering that number, if this happens again, he can that she was his constant. I kept thinking the picture of them together, because he always had it in both places, would be his constant. I was close enough. I'm right. 
Okay? I'm right. Mum is off. It's right. I thought it was really neat. At the very end, Daniel had wrote in his journal, Desmond Hugh, like his whole name will be my constant if anything goes wrong. And he's like, oh. so I don't know when he wrote that. Probably back in 96 when he had visited him. I don't know. It's getting so good. I'm a little confused at times, but that's when I need to pause it and talk it out. Get on the same page with y'all. Sort of, kind of. And then my brain can like, it's like pressure. It can just like, like, like release a little bit of the pressure. Or y'all are literally going to see a mind blown. That would go viral. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I need to take a nap. I'll be ready to watch the next episode just whenever I can. I've got other things to do and other shows to watch also, but I'm anxious to get to episode six. I think there's 13 episodes in this season, if I'm not mistaken. So soon we'll be halfway through season four. Oh my gosh. So we're flying through these, which is awesome. So thank y'all for watching this one with me, as always. Until the next video and the next time. Bye.